During 2022, we have identified six main themes running through our investigations. Safety of track workers, railway operations, management of bad weather, safety of people getting on and off trains, safety at level crossings, management of low adhesion. Britain's railways rely on properly maintained infrastructure for safe operation. Such maintenance work has the potential for serious harm to those undertaking it. Despite positive changes the railway has made, risk still exists. Whether working in planned red zones or not, risk controls relating to safety behaviours and site safety leadership remain important. Train driving and maintaining concentration is demanding. Fortunately, errors leading to significant consequences are very rare. To continue to reduce the occurrence and effects of driver distraction and fatigue, the railway needs to think further about using technology. Also, drivers can be helped by better provision of information. For emergency speed restrictions, the railway still largely relies on drivers reading and remembering notices posted with a book on for duty. With advances in communications, there must be other ways of conveying information essential for managing certain weather-related risks. Britain's weather can be disruptive and dangerous. The railway industry is aware it needs to counter this threat by exploiting modern technology to predict and track extreme weather events. There is an urgent need for the railway to provide real-time decision makers with the information and resources needed to manage complex and widespread weather-related events across the network. Our investigations generally see two scenarios at platforms. Passengers can fall between the train and the platform edge, with the person responsible for the train dispatch not being aware of what has happened. Passengers board in trains as the doors are closing or occasionally trapped in the doors and dragged. The door systems are unable to detect them and again, the person responsible for dispatch is not aware of this, resulting in the train departing. Technology continues to advance and should be explored. Last year we highlighted the risks associated with user worked crossings. Users are expected to understand how to do that safely by reading signage and being briefed by the people with rights of access over it. When such crossings are not used correctly, it is often because people do not understand them. Signage is provided, but these instructions are not user-friendly or clear. As well as reviewing signage, we have recommended Network Rail, ORR and DFT should consider the current arrangements requiring authorised users to brief potential users of such crossings. At any type of level crossing, the longer a residual risk is allowed to persist, however low, the more likely it is to manifest itself as a near miss or worse. So it is important that when the implementation of longer term mitigations move back in time, the level of residual risk is re-examined. Steel wheels on steel rails means that rolling resistance is low. A locomotive can efficiently haul a heavy train, but moisture, rust, Crushed leaves and other contaminants can affect the friction between the wheel and rail. This can lead to flat spots on wheels and degraded braking performance, both of which carry risk for the railway. The management of railhead condition, the reaction of trains to low adhesion and operational responses can all play a part in mitigating these risks. Find out more about our work as well as more detail on each of these themes at riib.gov.uk.